Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're talking about the existence and nature of God. Now, is God's existence self-evident? Some say that the knowledge of God is naturally put into the heart of everyone. After all, the Bible says something like that. However, that doesn't mean that we consciously know that God exists. We might merely know that something is missing from our lives, something big and important, something to make us happy. We can know all of that and even recognize the moral law to a degree, and yet we might still not realize consciously that God exists. Some people say that merely recognizing what God means proves that he exists. The ontological argument, for example, provides strong evidence for the existence of a maximally great being. So when we think of God as being a maximally great being, it's immediately obvious that he exists since actual existence is greater than not having actual existence. However, not everyone is able to follow a strong logical argument like that one, and even if they could, not everyone understands that God is a maximally great being. Some say that the existence of truth is self-evident because the claim there is no truth is self-refuting. Therefore, since God himself is truth, his existence is self-evident as well. However, while truth in general is self-evident, it's not self-evident that God is truth, or that truth is a manifestation of God. Putting it simply, while there are a few things that are self-evident and which we can know just based on themselves, the existence of God is not one of them. Claiming that God does not exist is not in itself a self-contradiction in the same sense that the denial of truth would be. So we need to have at least some reason to believe in the existence of God, and that in turn leads us to the many reasons that we do in fact have. Next, can we demonstrate the existence of God? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.